Hello, and welcome to a new survival horror game. This is Eternal Evil, and if you want to try this for yourselves, the links and the details are of course down below in the description as usual, so check those out if you're interested, okay? Now this very much does look like it's going to be a classic, old-school survival horror kind of game, but with a first-person perspective. So it might be a little bit like Resident Evil 7 or 8, or maybe it's going to be more in line with something like Nightmare of Decay that I played on the channel a few weeks ago and enjoyed. I'm not sure, but I am sure that I'm going to find out very soon when I press new game. But before that, I'm going to set the scene, tell you a little bit about the story and what's going on. It seems that some sort of apocalyptic event has occurred in a small town, turning most of the residents into bloodthirsty ghouls. And you see, it's ghouls, not zombies, so it's completely different. <laughs> Either way, these ghouls need to be dealt with, and I'm the man to deal with them. One bullet at a time. And I really hope you enjoy it. Now, the full thing should take about 15 to 20 hours to complete. Chances are I won't be able to do that in one video, so if you are enjoying this and you do want me to continue this as a series, please let me know about it down below in the comments or by liking the video. But here we go. Let's begin a new game of Eternal Evil. But with what settings? Okay, so it looks like I can actually make this harder by limiting my saves. Or make it a bit easier by giving myself a larger inventory from the start. I can disable the highlighting of important items. Or I can give myself a machine gun with endless rounds. Right, I like the sound of that, but not right now. I think I'm going to play the default experience, so I'm just going to save these game settings and start the game. What's the problem? I can't tell you over the phone, but I haven't encountered anything like this before. Got it. They'll be at your location in three days. Okay. Thank you. And be careful. Three days? Has he got three days? He might be dead within three days. <laughs> All right. They might be ghouls, but they do look a lot like zombies, don't they? So that's me, is it? That's the Chris Redfield of this game? Wait! Please! Wait for me! Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? Nice one! Thank you, Mr. Richards. Detective Hank Richards. We don't have time. You must go across the graveyard and fields towards the farms. There must be fear of these creatures there. Hmm, you'd hope so. Keep the rifle. What? You are not coming with us? No. I need to find someone at the hotel. Right. And off I go. And they leave with my rifle. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, I think you're going to regret giving that away. <laughs> okay, here we are. Hotel or Forest, Hank or Marcus. Oh, right. So there's two campaigns in this. Amazing. But it looks like I need to complete Hank's first, and then I start Marcus's. So yeah, we're going to the hotel as Hank. Where are you, Cross? Look at what you've done, you sick son of a bitch! You'll answer for this. I'll get you. Not if he gets you first. Alright, here we are. With a flashlight. And laser aiming with space. Okay, an inventory, tab, check bullets with Q, zoom sight, right mouse button. Alright. So we got the iron sights, I see. Oh yeah. Well that's pretty cool actually, the, the laser sight. Yeah, so I can fire from the hip. Tab for the inventory? Yes, okay. And what an inventory it is. I only got the six slots at the moment. So I've got this gun obviously, the knife. For a silent job and to save ammo. 
And there's help. Read this. Okay. Okay, so it's the buttons. Oh, we got a map as well. Right, okay. One, two, three, four. All right. So, got to read the game documents. Yep, yeah, it's tutorial stuff. There's save rooms. We can put items in a chest, and the chests are common to all locations. Hold on. After being bitten by a vampire? Vampires? We got ghouls and vampires, apparently. Okay, the character would lose blood, I'm sure. So green's excellent, yellow's average, red's bad. Uh, there's no pause while reading documents. Oh, now you bloody tell me. He's right there. This is the first of our zombies. Oh, sorry, ghouls. Let's see then. Okay. Uh, right. So space. Hey, that's not bad. What is bad is this gun. Bloody hell, this guy doesn't go down. Oh shit, right. Okay, uh, what was it? Three? Okay. Three for the knife. Let's see if I can finish this guy off with a knife. Ooh. Oh, there you go. I think that was very much the straw that broke the camel's back, don't you? Hey. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I know they're not zombies exactly, but are they going to come back to life like zombies do? Not if I keep stabbing him in the head, right? <laughs> okay, what's this? Oh, ammo! Good! Fantastic! And what was that? One? One. Alright. What's this? A skip skull. With this skull, you can skip the puzzle. The number of skulls is less than the number of puzzles in the game. Well, let's stay well away from those. I want to see if I can actually solve the puzzles. What about this book? Oh, this is where we save! Okay. Oh, well, that's fairly easy to notice. I'll keep my eye out. Look at all that blood. Right. Okay. Um, so... M for the map. Brilliant! Pub, safe room, right? Wow, big place. Five floors? Jeez. And what we got up here? An attic. Alright, so down here on floor one. Giant cellar area. Okay. Oh, washroom. Definitely want to check that out, don't I? <laughs> you know me. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I got a prompt down here? I still can't believe what's happening. No, nor can I. I gotta say, this actually does seem pretty good so far. It seems pretty polished. What we got back here? Anything good? Uh, money? A stack of cash? A stack of euros? Wonderful! Alright! Uh, a guest from room 202 complains about the noise in the walls, as if something falls with a heavy sound. A guest found someone's tooth and blood on the floor in the shower stall of room 201. October 15th. Today, John McConnell from room 201 reported his wife missing when she went to the bathroom. He followed her after two hours and didn't find anyone. During the conversation, David came out of the back room and said that he would deal with the client and told me to continue working and took John to his room. I didn't see either John or his wife anymore. They told me that John was just drunk and his wife was found and they checked out outside my shift. Uh, a likely story indeed. What really happened? Okay. Oh, I see a keypad. And no, I, I don't know a pass. And it's for this door, is it? Yep, yeah, this is the one that needs the pass. So hang on! Right, so this is actually getting updated as we go. Yeah, so these are the doors. Not visited, locked, opened. It doesn't note down where the, the pad is, but fair enough. Alright. Uh, well, let's go around to the washroom, shall we? Or maybe... well... <laughs> let's see. Let's be cheeky. Can I leave? Nah, <laughs> I don't need to go out now. That would probably be the smart decision, though, honestly. Right. Let's just take this one floor at a time, don't you think? It's a lot of detail, yeah. Okay, we can turn the flashlight on and off as well. Good stuff. So, through here, yeah? And then to the right, the men's. Looks like we can't go to the women's, unless of course I can get the boards off. Maybe I can find a crowbar or... Well, I don't suppose I can use the knife, can I? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think stabbing at these is really going to do anything. But the men's? Right, yeah, okay. Well, let's go in. Oh, occupied! <laughs> oh, right, yeah, probably should have reloaded. Oh, oh, what the hell were you two doing in there? Very naughty. 
Right, you know what? Let's finish you off with this. Oh, wow. That actually does take a long, long time for you to get the knife out. Oh, that's a very aggressive thrust you got. Which is, funnily enough, what he said. Yeah. And I like the laser aiming as well. Oh boy, right, okay. Right. So, uh, let's see. No keys down there? No, <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Can I not reload? I oh, it's because I got five rounds, that's it. I oh shit. Oh shit, pick them up. Right, okay, so they come back to life. Oh, I need to get knocked right back down. Okay. What's this C business? Oh, I thought it was like C for corpse, but no, it's it's to drag the bodies, to drag the ragdolls. Right, there you go. <laughs> he won't be bothering me anymore. All right. So, the one out here, is he up and about? Hmm. Better to be safe than sorry, I think. Hang on, what, what is this? That's, that's the save, right? Which makes sense, because it's in the save room, but this? Yeah, we've got some icons, even though we haven't been to those areas. Is there a key there, or is that... Maybe that's a door that requires that key. I suppose we'll find out in a moment. Let's see if we can get over there, shall we? So, this is going to be a game with puzzles, right? Are we talking clock puzzles? Statue puzzles? Sofa puzzles? <laughs> Not really sure what we got here. Can we open these? I, I don't think we can open the cabinets and cupboards and drawers in this. Might be wrong, but not having too much luck. Sorry, how do we... How do we get into the VIP dining room? Do we have to go through a wall? Is there a, a secret doorway? Oh, hang on. I might have to access it from the second, or maybe even the third floor, and then go down. Okay, uh, well, it looks like that's all she wrote for the ground floor right now, so let's head up to floor two, shall we? Let's see what we find. I'm actually very impressed with this. Ooh. <laughs> Legitimately tensed up, because I thought that was some sort of killer dog. There's no killer dogs in this game, are there? I hope not. So, the items should make themselves known, right? They should jump out at me. They should be highlighted. So, I don't think there's anything here. What about this? Can we use this? Yes, we can. Alright. Oh, hello. Right. Presumably headshots are better than body shots. But to be honest, I probably want to save my shots, don't I? That's the best kind of shot. Oh, there you go. Right, stay down, would you? <laughs> I think she's nodding like, yes, she agrees. Is it just her? We haven't got any killer dogs in here. Uh, <laughs> well, there's a lion, but I don't think it's a killer. It's a statue. Right. Uh, a painting puzzle, maybe. No? <laughs> I'm just looking for puzzles where there aren't any. Can't open the luggage. Don't think we can open this. All that. Yeah, quite limited in our interactivity with these kind of things. Can we steal some priceless artwork? No. Alright, we've got something down here. We've got some rope. It's very strong. Might be useful. So I'm going to slip that into my inventory. What have I got planned for that, I wonder? Hmm. Maybe I'm going to be abseiling out a window. But on a night like this, I certainly hope not. Right, so let's see. Um, we might be approaching a key door. I don't know, but this one right in front of me? Is that going to work? Let's find out. Alright. This looks really, really good, doesn't it? And it looks even better when you see some ammo. Brilliant. Alright. Yeah, got to check the nooks and the crannies. Got to find all the ammo I can. Oh, hello. Okay. I don't know if I need the laser, but I'm, I'm glad that it's there. Right, I think it's just you, isn't it? So, it's knife time. Actually, let's try something. I'm not sure if I like how the, the doors close by themselves, but... 
Yeah, can you open doors or are you restricted to your environment? She's probably playing with the handle right now, right? Okay. It's a disappearing act. Whoop! <laughs> I knew she was back there! Why did that spook me? Come on. Oh, there you go. Right. Stay down, yeah? Okay. Since I can pick them up, maybe I should just like throw them out the window or something. <laughs> she won't be a problem. Alright. So yeah, what's up with this door? It needs a key, doesn't it? A fire gem key? Okay, so this is going to be a little bit like Resident Evil, where we don't need a spade or a club key. We need a fire gem key. But then there's also the save symbol. So that's around here? Oh, there it is. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the storage trunk, right! Well, to be honest, I don't really know what to do with this yet, so yeah, let's move that to storage, and I'll collect that when I know what to do with it. Wow, that looks well equipped. Can I open that again? Where's all that stuff? <laughs> let's save, shall we? There you go. Alright, so I guess I'm going to have to come back when I found the fire gem, or the fire gem key, one of those. Anything else to find? No. Okay, right. Um, so, let's see. It looks like, on the right side, the east side, there's a restaurant. The whole second floor. That might actually be access to the, the dining room. And there's another one of these keys. It's a blue one. Right, how many keys do we need to find? Okay. So, over here? Looks like we've got three ways to go. Let's try this door here. Alright. Instantaneously, I cross the threshold and the music stops. Why? Now I'm nervous. Ah, oh, but I don't think I should be. I think this is the pub. This is the, the save room, isn't it? That's right. Okay, so whereabouts do I save? Right there. Along with the storage trunk. So, yeah, it's a shared inventory. So the rope comes along. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, yes! A shotgun! Old, but still does its job. I would like to think so. Brilliant! And what's this? Got a couple of things, actually. Clean water. Restore blood level 100%. And the chocolate bar restores blood level 50%, I think. I've pretty much just filled up my inventory, haven't I? Yep. <laughs> just one slot free. Uh, well, actually, what I should do then is probably put one of these away. Maybe this one. And we can just freely move things around. Brilliant! Yeah, I'm liking this a lot so far. Right, so let's see. Oh, mama. <laughs> I am locked and loaded and ready to go. I kind of want to drink first. Or, oh, hang on. Maybe more euros. Yeah. I'm curious about the bonuses after early access. Hmm. Either way, I've got 200 euros now, I think. Is that it? I can't actually go through the register myself. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm just looking for a drink as I climb on the bar. Okay, right, let's see. Let's save. And maybe let's head to the restaurant? Or the dining room? Like a VIP? I don't know. Either way, I want to find a willing test subject for this shotgun. It was this way for the restaurant, wasn't it? Alright. Oh, hello. Right, uh, so you're the willing victim, sorry, participant for this, yeah? Oh shit. Wait, it's not working. Oh, no, it, it definitely is working. Holy shit. What happened there? It was like the gun wasn't loaded or it misfired or something. Is that a thing? I don't know. Hmm. Either way, I removed his head. I like this gun. <laughs> okay. So the restaurant's through here, yeah? That, oh, I saw that. <laughs> you can't fool me. Oh, oh, hang on. Well, they run sometimes. Right, okay. That might be overkill, but that one that's running, he could be a threat. Yeah, you. Yeah, 
thankfully it's one shot and they're down, but... Okay, let's maybe go back to the pistol now, because I don't want to waste all my shotgun rounds on you guys. I should save the shotgun for the, the bigger, better enemies, right? Okay, and maybe I can finish you off with this. Oh boy. You look a lot like Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 3, and you were probably going to get up again, weren't you? You sneaky bitch. Right. Okay. I think we've killed all the diners. Let's have a little look. What were they dining on anyway? Shotgun shells! Wonderful! That's a meal I agree with. Ah. The fire gem? I need the fire gem. Right. Something back here? More money, I think. More euros. Yep. Good stuff. So... Alright. Yeah, I, I do want to give everything a once-over, just in case. Items should jump out at me. They should be evident, but you never know. I might miss something if I'm not careful. I really like this, actually. I really hope that this lasts 20 hours or so. And I can play the piano. What more can I ask for? <laughs> Alright, I think it might be time to leave the restaurant and go somewhere else. But where? Okay, let's go to the end of the hall and... Some more locked doors, by the looks of it. Yeah, all the doors close behind you, it seems. Just something to bear in mind. Oh, this is locked from the other side? So, yeah, that's displayed as red instead of black now. Alright, well, uh, I suppose we're going to need to find a key. At least one of the keys to get through. So it's not going to be that way. Now let's see. Can we, by any chance, go around to this vi Oh, hello. <laughs> he made me jump a little bit. Right, yeah. I think he was about to try and run at me and try and rush me there. I don't want to mess around with those guys. Right, you? Over the edge. <laughs> That's what happens to you. How long has this person been here? Jeez. Yeah, I think I'd rather use the 9 mil ammo on them. And maybe save the knife for the slower ones. So there's the entrance down there. So up here? I think this might be my access to the VIP room. Yeah, I think so. It's not a dead end, is it? Oh no, no, there is an opening. <laughs> okay. Let's see, shall we? What was that? I think I heard something. Is there something down there? Oh, there is. Oh god. Oh shit! Okay, right, time to go! <laughs> Have I just walked into a fucking boss room? Right. That was a giant scorpion, was it not? Okay. Let's reload, shall we? Okay, how many rounds have I got? Six. Okay, I've got six rounds for a scorpion. Where is it? Here it is. Oh my. Oh man. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Oh. Okay. Damn it. Oh, it. It's got me. Okay. What's my health situation like? Uh, it looks like I'm down to eighty. Okay. Well, that's not too bad then. Shit. Oh my god. Are you serious? I. Oh. I didn't make you despawn, did I? Okay, I'm completely out of shotgun rounds now. Oh, fuck. Maybe I shouldn't be here. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how this goes, but maybe I'm going to reload my save. There he comes. Come on. Come on. Up here. Oh, wow. <laughs> he ragdolled splendidly. Jeez. Okay. Well, uh, you stay there. And I hope you will stay there. You don't get up like some of the others, do you? 
I'm gonna have a little look around. <laughs> okay. What's this? A blue ball. It's uh, like a pool ball. And it's bigger than a regular ball. Seems a bit odd. Don't know why I'm taking that and not the cake. The cake looks lovely. I uh, probably need a drink after that, don't I? Is that it? Hopefully that was the only one, right? I don't see any others down there. Let's take a wander. Okay, so... <laughs> I guess that was the VIP treatment, because here we are in the VIP dining room. Okay... Looks like we might be missing something here. Maybe this is a puzzle? I don't know. Very fancy. Alright. What have we got here? Oh, that's water, isn't it? Clean water. Okay. Health item. Um, I might actually use this. Yeah. Right, okay, that takes me back up to 100. Maybe wasted 20 HP or so, but... Right. <laughs> it's actually got the animation for eating and everything as well. This is pretty polished! Yeah. I'm impressed. I am impressed. I'm not impressed by the lack of ammo down here, though. Hmm. Can I go over here? No. Looks like that's fallen down so I could go back, but no. Uh, Alright, there's another door over here, but uh, this is going to be some other key, isn't it? Another gem. A blood gem. Alright, so there's a fire gem, a blood gem. Hmm. I'm going to need these keys, aren't I? Right. Now, I might be being silly. I might be looking through an area like that and not finding much, but if you do spot something, please let me know about it down below in the comments, and next time I'll come back and see what's what, alright? Okay. Well, that's that. <laughs> so, next up... Um, well... We're kind of done with this floor, at least for now. I think we've got to go up one more to the third floor, which is a bit of a clusterfuck, actually. There's a meeting room. Wait, what's that? I don't know what that is, but I want it. Right next to the save room. Maybe we should head in that direction. A restaurant second floor, a VIP room. Is that another one? We've got a green key over here. And there's a... <laughs> there's at least four keys that we need. All right. Okay. We're heading up, I think. Actually, no. First things first, I'm going to go save. I don't want to do that again. Okay. Up here to the right, maybe? Oh, that's one of those doors, isn't it? So this needs a water gem. Blood, fire, and water. Alright. This one? This one's no problem. Money in a suitcase. Love it. <laughs> I'll take those euros. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, I think at least she may have seen me. So I've got a knife with her name on it. Right. Okay. She seems to be one of the slower ones, so I feel safer doing this. I like how the blood's leaking out of her. That's actually quite a good detail. Fucking hell, these doors. Right. Yeah, they can't come through doors, can they? Come on. Well, if you invite them in, yeah. They are vampires. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's got to hurt. Right, let's leave you down there. And let's deal with this guy. It is probably worth dealing with them, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be so many enemies that it's worth leaving a few alive. Busy. When you try and change weapons too quickly, it says it's busy. Quite like that. I mean, I hate it, but nice for the like, realism's sake. Okay. That's going to be another one of those doors that I just can't open, right? I need the life gem. <laughs> There's so many gems I need. Okay. We can go through here. Alright. I do have a pool ball. Yeah, a blue pool ball. So maybe... 
Maybe I need to place it down here or something? I mean, it seems like this is going to be for a puzzle, you know what I mean? There's another one down there, but uh, they're all over the place. Why did I pick up that one in particular? Very strange. This way. Okay. Alright. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's a fucking snake! Oh. I wasn't actually sure if it was dead or not. I, I think it's dead now? If I can pick it up and swing it around. Yeah, it must be dead. Okay. Well, that must have hurt. Down to 70. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I've only got four rounds. This isn't good. Uh, so, the VIP room. I can't go there. What about this one behind me? Oh, hello. Right, it's knife only for you. Okay. Oh, all right. Five knife headshots and you are down. And it looks like you're going to stay that way. All right, can I open 212? Oh. Ah. Who's this? You're alive. Who are you? Detective Hank Richards. I'm looking for Howard Cross, the owner of this hotel. How are you still alive? <laughs> Luck. David told me I'll be safe here and gave me some ammo just in case. David. He was an administrator of the hotel, but disappeared a couple of days ago. Hmm. Said he needed to grab something and would come back for me. Again, a likely story. Crazy here from all the screaming and inhuman growls. Do you know where Cross is? No. I've only seen him a couple of times in all the time I've worked here. What were you doing here? Um, I brought people to the hotel and... Entertain them. I haven't seen a single happy face here. <laughs> I can't stay here any longer. I don't have food and... I can't evacuate you now. If you sneak, they might not notice you. Go barefoot. Get to the farms. There, you will find other survivors. You got it? Hopefully. I'm scared, but I have no choice. Bring me back my rifle, would you? Good luck. Good luck to you too. Alright. So I'm not alone. There's survivors in here. Okay. Ah, wonderful, a chocolate bar. Okay. Oh, ammo! Oh, and a key! Oh, this is the water key. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay. Right, that's going to be an issue. Uh, apparently I am going to get, like, a larger inventory, right? But when? What's this? Okay, a diary. Perhaps moving to this city was a mistake. I thought small towns were quieter, but this city is the same as my native Saxton, if not worse. Despite this, I can't go back. Besides, Jared's looking out for me here. And there... It's better not to even think about it. I've been working in a newly opened hotel for more than a month. Jared said that they'd pay me more here, and I'd have my own room where I can live. The main thing is to listen to Mr. Cross and not ask unnecessary questions. Although this place is much better than the old hostel, some things here are very questionable. I'm used to seeing a client off and seeing him leave. But here, they told me to leave the client alone in the room after I've done my job. During my time at the hotel, I've never seen any of my clients leave, or return to me for a second time. Also, from time to time, there's a rumble, as if something heavy is being dumped down the garbage chute. Maybe it's because the hotel's still under construction, but no work's being done in this part of the hotel. If you don't pay attention to these things, it seems that my life has started to get better. David promised me that we would run away from this hotel together, move to another city, and he would take care of me. He's so stupid and naive. He thinks that somewhere there, it'll be better. I used to think so too, but no one can escape their fate. David doesn't think so. He said that he had done bad things, but now he'll try and do better and atone for his guilt. I don't know what he meant by that. I don't know how to describe the nightmare happening around me, as if I was in a house of horrors. I tried to escape from the hotel, but I saw a snake in the hallway. A damn huge snake. It chased me. I managed to get into my room and close the door. I constantly hear someone's footsteps behind the door. Probably not the snakes. David left me a gun. I don't know what to do with it. I've thought many times about putting a bullet in my head and ending it, because there's no way out. But something stops me. 
My life hasn't been peachy, but damn it, I want to live! Maybe that idiot David influenced me so much that I began to believe in a better future for myself. I need to endure this nightmare and believe that somehow there will definitely be a way out. Right. Shotgun shells, brilliant. Absolutely love the fact, by the way, that I can pick up ammo and it doesn't take up an inventory slot. That is fantastic. Right. There's actually somewhere to save here, which I'll do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so just want to get absolutely everything reloaded and ready to go. Just the one round. Just the one round, unfortunately. But I do have this water key now. Anything else? Okay. Uh, I don't believe so. Nothing else to read, either. Alright, well that was a nice surprise, finding a survivor. Why do I feel like I'm gonna trip over her body in a moment? Alright. So, let's see. Some of these rooms don't exist, so <laughs> I guess I'm not going through some of these doors. But the one on the right here? Ah, yeah, that's gonna need the life gem. Okay. 207? Oh, that's another one that doesn't actually exist. And nor does this one. Yeah, I don't think we'll be prying the boards off at this point. Right. Uh, hello. <sighs> I was just going to experiment with stealth, but I don't think that's going to work, is it? What will work is me stabbing you. I enjoy how effective this knife is. The knife is a brilliant weapon. I don't think I ever want to get rid of it. It's very useful. Right, okay, cool. Uh, is that it? End of the line? I'm gonna need the life gem, aren't I? In here, though? Oh, fucking hell, dude! <laughs> Honestly, remind me never to open a door holding the knife, just in case. I mean, there could be another giant scorpion or a snake or something, right? Hey, are you alright? Alright, so 310, what's in here? Okay. I see ammo. And I see a body. There's something there as well. Okay. Since the birth of our child, our feelings with Linda became different. She seemed to have grown cold. It's just that it's very hard for both of us right now, but we'll manage. A couple of months later, Linda is constantly dissatisfied with something. I no longer know how to please her. I can't imagine where she got so much strength to scream. I'm very angry at her. I work from morning to night for the benefit of the family, but it's not enough for her. A year and a half. As if in hell. My ideal bride suddenly turned into a demoness, whom it's increasingly difficult to love. Quarrels every day. Sometimes she pisses me off so much that I want to hit her. I try to drive away these thoughts because I love her, but it's very hard to restrain myself. Once I pushed her, not very hard, but she seemed to calm down. But not for long. I'm afraid someday she'll drive me crazy and my patience won't stand it. I'll just lose control. I regretted getting married. God, what did I do? I killed her! I killed my wife! Is that the naked corpse over there? Maybe. We once again began to quarrel. I booked us a VIP room, but even then she wasn't calm and began to reproach me for all mortal sins. I couldn't stand it and hit her. From this, she had a dissection and blood flowed. When I felt the smell of blood, it was like I went berserk and my rage went beyond the limits of what was permissible. I started beating her even harder until she lost consciousness, and then I blacked out. When I came to, she was dead. Now I'm writing this next to her corpse and I don't know what to do. To tell you the truth, I'm not really upset. She caused me so much heartache. I even... I had fun. Apparently I'm a monster, and this hunger... How hungry I am. For some reason, strange thoughts come into my head. I can't even write this, but... My wife's corpse looks very... Appetizing. God, what's wrong with me? Am I nuts? A maniac? I'm afraid to leave the room, but I'm getting sick. I think I'm sick of something. And my wife's corpse. It smells so nice. I've heard that the corpse smell should be disgusting, but it's not. Mmm, nice. <laughs> Written by the guy that I just stabbed to death, right? 
Fucking hell, he really went to town on her. Alright. Let's see, anything else? Uh, I don't believe so. I'm really on the lookout for more ammo, because... I mean, I need it. I really... Oh, hang on. Oh! So you can open certain cupboards. Oh man, it feels like I should go and examine everything again. There you go, though. Ammo. Brilliant. Hang on. Oh, a hidden stash of cash. I'll take that, too. Another... Oh, 200 euro there. Great. That was pretty well hidden. Glad I saw that. Good stuff. Okay, right. So... Uh, we're going to have to go back on ourselves, aren't we? Until we get this life gem. So that's not going to be an issue. I'm probably going to go down there. Uh, well, with the blue key that I've got, I could maybe access room 201 and 202. Yeah. Yeah, I, I might try that. Let's go back down. Through here. And then this door. Yep, all done automatically, and now we've got access to this corridor with room 201 and 202. Didn't we read about these rooms down at the counter, at reception? Locked with a primitive lock. A primitive lock, you say? Okay. How primitive? Like, I can just slice it up? <laughs> no, I don't think the knife's gonna unlock it. 202? Alright. There's something down here. Oh, oh, hello! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to catch you undressing. Oh, right. I think it's stabby time. Oh. Oh, come on. Yeah, I gotta say, the, the slow ones don't really pose much of a threat. Whether they're wearing clothes or not. Whoa! Okay! It's like she fucking heard me! Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Whoa! Wow. Wow. I think I deserve that for shit-talking her. Okay, right. Much better. <laughs> oh, it's just you? It's just you. Look at all this blood. That wasn't me. What the hell have you been doing in here? Was this the room that had the noise complaint, or was it the other one? What do we got here? Oh, it's a lockpick! It can open a simple lock, like the one next door? Maybe. What's this? Uh, another journal. How tired I am of this hotel and loud neighbours, even though I spent only three days in it. The people behind the wall really get on my nerves. I've already gone to them to sort it out. We just shouted at each other through the door. The hotel administration said they will definitely sort it out, but what can they do? This person's a lunatic. There were some very strange noises just now. My neighbours went into the shower. I heard them making noises there. Then they quieted down. After that, there was a rumble from there, as if something heavy and large was falling down the chutes. I keep hearing stuff like this, don't I? I listened for half an hour. I didn't hear anything from that room. It seems like my wish has come true. Right. Well, with the lockpick, we might be able to go in there and investigate for ourselves. Okay. Open this. No. Okay. Right. That is going to be my one and only death, I think. I don't think that's going to be the case at all. <laughs> but it might be. Uh, so let's see. We're automatically using the lockpick. Right. Okay. Need to check shower cabin. Yeah, alright. I'll pick up this ammo first. No one's here? No one down the loo? No? Okay. So what's up with this? Oh. oh, shit. Is that a hole? Yeah, what? It kind of does look like a garbage chute, actually. I... Oh, I need... Oh, the rope! I put it away! Wait, do I... Do I want to climb down there? I think I had better ideas abseiling out the window, quite honestly. Um, okay, well, I don't have the rope right now, but has that been added to the map? Uh, not really, but I know where it is. Okay, alright, well, hmm. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's try this door here. 
Well, that's locked from the other side. Okay. I was just going to see if I could, you know, expend all the rest of my options before I went and got the, the rope, but maybe I should just sort of bite the bullet and grab it. Or I could go over here. Alright. Doesn't look like this needs a key. No! Ah, uh, that one definitely does. Oh, shotgun shells. <laughs> Rounds from the gods. Fantastic. Okay. So where else can I use the, uh, the, the water gem key? Over here, to access a meeting room by the looks of it. Right next to a save room, okay. I'll head in that direction. Alright, this way? Yep, that works. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't I shoot you in the head? <laughs> I love the way they twist around. Oh, and I love the way their heads explode. That guy's not coming back. So hang on, that... Okay, that leads to the gallery. That needs the fire gem. There's also a casino. Hang on. Yeah, a casino, the meeting room, staircase hall. Is that another staircase? Which goes down... Oh, to the other side. Ah, right. Well, I can open this door, can't I? Right, right, okay. Thank you very much, Hercules. Hey up. Oh dear. This is why I use the knife, because I can't aim. Okay, I, I really, really don't trust him now. I was so cocky and confident with the knife before. Some just take so long to go down. I don't know why. Right. Okay, so that's the save room, that's the meeting room, and this is the... Casino? Alright. Yeah, fits the bill. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> Forsake our chips for bullets. I don't mind. Yeah, no poker today. Blackjack? Not today. No. Anything behind the counter? A few more euros, maybe? No, no, we do have some chips. Okay, so over here. Alright. Already there's a couple of things I can see. Is That's a lighter, right? Still works! Don't have to find lighter fluid or anything like that. You can see this. There's a, an empty vinyl. It can be used for recording a sound. Okay. Another journal? Bloody hell. Alright, there's going to be a lot of reading in this. Maybe that's why it's 15 to 20 hours long. It depends if you're a speed reader or not. I can't get my thoughts together. What happened yesterday? No one will believe me, but I have to write it down. When I was mourning Emily's death over her body at home, there was a knock on the door. I thought it was the police again with their interrogations, but when I opened the door, two thugs were standing in front of me. I was so taken aback by their appearance that I could not object to them when they came into my house and immediately went to the coffin. I followed them into the hall. They were standing over Emily's body when one of them said, Howard Cross, what are you willing to do to get your daughter back? I, I didn't know what to say. I, I was ready for anything, but I can't bring her back, so what's the point of this conversation? If you cooperate with us, we will return Emily to you. How do they know her name? They must have read it in the paper. Who are you? I asked you to leave me alone. Only at this moment I noticed that blood was flowing from the hand of one of them and dripping straight into Emily's mouth. What the hell is going on here? I'll call- Calm down. She won't get any worse. Be patient, Howard. My heart was beating wildly. Nothing happened for a while. What do they want from me? Suddenly, Emily opened her eyes. She got up and looked at me. I thought I was dreaming all this. I wanted to hug her. I took a step towards her and had only time to say, Em, when she suddenly rushed at me with a wild growl. I jumped back and fell. She was trying to get me with her claws. She had a furious look. I looked up and saw one of the guests put his foot on Emily, pinning her to the floor so that she could not reach me. What did you do to her? Everything that was happening seemed like a nightmare. We brought your daughter back to life, Howard. I said it wasn't my daughter, it was some kind of demon. If you do what we tell you, then your daughter will regain her consciousness. I agreed to help them, otherwise I would have lost my daughter again, and most likely my life. The hotel renovation is going faster than I expected, but it's time to change contractors again. 
Otherwise, they may suspect something's wrong with the way the hotel's designed. Maybe we should hire someone from Duxburg this time. Okay, a few months later, the police came in again and asked about missing people. I'm so tired of them. They scare away visitors. I need to remind the chief of police of our agreement to keep his hounds away from my hotel. They had an agreement, did they? Interesting. Well, I think we know where some of those missing people ended up. Probably down that chute, right? Okay. Useful for a bonfire. Unfortunately, I can't collect this. Um. Ah. It's a ready-to-light fireplace. I've got a lighter. Maybe that's what I use it for? Alright. Okay. Good stuff. Um, so I suppose I really want to... Where did the lighter go? Was that it? It had one use? Jeez Louise, that's terrible, isn't it? Alright, well I guess I can pick this up now. Alright. This isn't a bonfire, but... Can I? Okay. <laughs> Is there an owl in the room? Strange. So what do we got here? I do not know where my nestling is. I hide my food. The lost ones want to hear me. A hurricane is not an obstacle to me. And I can use this as well. Oh, can you play the record? Well, it's empty, isn't it? So naturally, I, I don't hear a thing. Can I take that back? Or, right, okay. Hmm. What's this? Having heard the voices of four kinds, the defender will leave his post. A well-fed flame will warm the bird's house. Okay. I can use this one as well. I can use a lot in this room, can't I? Insert a record. The empty one? Yeah? So that goes in. Start recording? Okay. I'm recording something. Can I do that again? Oh, maybe I can, actually. Ah, right. This is gonna cause the noise? So the wood burning in a particular way creates this peculiar bird-like sound. Alright. Is this all to do with, like, one puzzle? Because this is definitely a puzzle, right? Pick it up. The Cuckoo's Cry added to inventory. I thought it was an owl, to be honest, but right. All right. Wait, so hang on. Can I, can I play that back then? Yes. I've recorded it. I don't really know why, but I did it. <laughs> okay. Uh... So yeah, that that's the well-fed flame clue. This, the defender will leave his post. All right, the defender, the shield. Is there something behind the shield? Hang on. Oh, this is that thing, isn't it? Is that hidden behind the shield? Right. I don't know if I'm ready for this puzzle quite yet. I might have to come back a little bit later, but all right. Um, so let's move in this direction. Next door should be a- Whoa, what the- Oh, what? Oh, fuck off. Oh, we are not fighting fucking crows! Well, I'm not. I'm definitely not doing it very well. Oh boy, okay, I'm actually getting hurt here. It's a lot easier to stab them. Just the three? Just the three, bloody hell. Down to 40 HP now. God, why do I waste so many rounds on them? Right, okay. Well, that's the price you pay getting into the safe room, right? Okay. Nice. Nice. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that right now. Wonderful. More shotgun shells as well. There's the case. Yep, I don't think there's anything else here, so let's be on our way. Probably down the stairs, right? Yeah. Man, you really need the flashlight in some of these areas, don't you? Okay. Oh, no, it's not okay. 
Right. Okay, like, let's do this on the stairs, shall we? Not exactly what I had in mind, but alright, that works. Down you go. Oh, hopefully for good. Good stuff. Okay. Hmm. It's this one, isn't it? Should be able to get in. This oh, this key's no longer needed, so is that discarded? Right, okay, so I've got three free slots. That's good. And here's none the wiser. Let's keep it that way, shall we? Okay. Don't think there's anything over here. Let's go down. Is this going to take me down to the cellar or something? Okay. What is this place? Oh, this is the recreation room. Okay. Something down there. Is that... Okay, it's another chocolate bar, along with some soup. What lovely cuisine. Something up here. What is that, a box? Ah. Space to open it. Uh, with a chocolate bar, a knife. No? No, um... I'm gonna need a key. Don't know where to find that key, but I'm gonna need a key. Is it around here somewhere? Maybe. I get a key along with that thing out of the, the, the puzzle with the cuckoo cry. Don't know. No, I don't really know. At least for now, it seems like we're done. So, uh, is it worth killing this guy? I, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'll actually be able to access that door, but, you know, one less zombie. Sorry, ghoul. <laughs> There we go. I am so much better with the knife than the gun in this game. Oh, jeez! Oh, boy. Oh, fucking hell. Right, this this happened before, didn't it? Fuck. Okay. What is going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. They change. They get a taste of blood, and they just change. Shit. Okay. Well... Don't need to worry about him anymore. Was he protecting something? Or is it just that door? I think it's just the door, isn't it? Right. Here we are. This is the staircase hall. Never actually went in here, did I? Okay. Well, this leads up twice. This actually might be my way into the attic. Okay. Looks like we got something down here. I want to complain about the service at your hotel. My husband and I got a VIP room and expected special treatment for us, but there was a clump of hair in the food that was brought to us. This is outrageous and unacceptable. In addition to this, there's not even a bathroom in the room. I have to go somewhere to take a shower. To relieve stress, we asked to bring us something to listen to, and there was no limit to our indignation. When we put the record on, instead of music, we heard the cries of a bird. Interesting. Where's that record? <laughs> My husband spent a decent amount of money in your casino. I ask you to return the money spent for this room and what my husband lost at the casino. Well, why the hell would they do that? E. Gillihull. Karen Gillihull. Room 208. Oh, 208. That's, uh, that's the VIP room. Right, that needs the life gem. Maybe I can find that next, I don't know. Okay, can we go straight through? Nope, locked from the other side. So, yeah, this... This is a damn near impenetrable hallway. Oh. Oh, hello. Right. Uh, there's two of them, at least. Um, right. I've got all this ammo, right? I might as well use it. I can't stab them all. Oh, he's down. Okay, right. Next up, we got you. Okay, I am going to finish this guy off with the knife, because I actually feel kind of bad now. I mean, everyone else got stabbed and you didn't. That's not fair. There you go. How much ammo we got? Okay, 24 rounds. Only four shotgun, though. Right. Hopefully there's some more up here. Oh, fucking hell, there is another one. Are you alright there? <laughs> Silly question. At least he sorted his arm out. Oh, man. Uh, no, that would be overkill. Their pathfinding 
is quite limited, isn't it? I mean, they are kind of like zombies. They just try and walk straight towards you. When they can't, they do shit like this. I don't know if I like that or not. It kind of works out. Definitely works out right now. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Was he about to turn? I don't know. I can never trust these guys. A stab for each of you. Who could have done this? What, all the hunting? I don't know. What are you talking about this? Or... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, something big, I guess. Knock down this door and some of the wall with it. What's this? A purse. May contain something. Alright, more euros, maybe? Is there a way to... Uh, well, examine, I suppose. Alright. Ah. Ah! Oh, what was that? Was that a key? Oh, forget about the cards, but th you're right, there's a, there's a couple of keys. A small key. I was actually looking for a small key for that box. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Right, let's eat that. Oh, hang on. What do we got here? Chloe, find the blue billiard ball. It's bigger than a regular pool ball. Bring it to the hunter room and put the compass back in its place in the rec room. Right, there's a compass in the rec room? That's in the box, is it? What is this? And what is this? A single shot grenade launcher. Amazing. Um, and then there's this as well. According to what I've learned, the vampire genes contained in red water are able to multiply the characteristics of any organism and even modify it. And apparently, vampires did not shy away from this and created extremely dangerous fighting creatures. I could use an army of such creatures for my own safety. What, you mean like a giant scorpion and big snakes? In my terrariums, there are hundreds of animals and insects of different species, from ants to snakes and bats. I'm afraid I don't have enough red water for all of them. I'll have to dilute it a lot. It's a disaster. Almost all my animals died. I don't understand how this could have happened and why some of them survived. I need to analyze all my recordings, including videotapes. I think I figured out what my problem might be. Those animals that received diluted red water died. Apparently, there's a saturation point below which red water only kills. In the future, it'll be better to focus on several specimens than to lose all at once. Looks like I'm starting to get it. One of the scorpions that I brought from China became noticeably larger and more aggressive. He ate the corpses of his brothers. From now on, I will call him Iraq. Right. I think I just killed him. I need to be more careful with other animals. I do not know if they're trainable. Iraq became too big for his terrarium, so I had to move it. I was afraid that he might attack me, but, but to my surprise, he was calm and even obeyed my commands. It looks like his intelligence has also increased. The shed exoskeleton left by Iraq after molting turned out to be quite strong. No doubt when the new exoskeleton hardens, it'll be bulletproof. The only vulnerable spot will be the head. It's a pity that I didn't manage to create at least a dozen of them. Right, okay. Feels like maybe I read this a little bit too late, because I think I've already dealt with him, but yeah, it it seemed like only the headshots did work. I was just wasting ammo otherwise. Speaking of which, here's some more. Right. The red ball. And the green ball. Right, okay. This this is the pool puzzle, isn't it? And what's this? We've got another little placard, something else. The strong one lives in the north. Rage is in the northwest. The tall one lives in the south. Okay. Um, okay, this is where we need the compass, which I think is in that box. Ah. Right. Can I use all the holes? Okay. 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 Oh, hang on. Can I? Ah, oh, replicas! Damn it! Here we are. So, space. The small key. It works! And inside, as promised, the compass, which hopefully will allow us to make sense of this puzzle. Great. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take that back up, and I think I'm going to place that on the pool table, and then I'll know which ball goes where, hopefully. Okay. So let's see. The compass goes down here. Yep, it seems to. And it points... 
in a sort of diagonal direction. North is over there. That pocket there, is it? The strong one lives in the north. But then, how do we determine that? It's got to be something to do with the an- Oh, it is the animals, isn't it? They've got numbers. Two, seven, four. Six, three. Do you have a number? No? Right. Okay. The strong one, right? I'm thinking that's probably going to be the bear. And there was a tall one, right? The tall one lives in the south. So six is south. Seven is north. Right, okay. Let's see. So let's put the red one here. And it was six. Okay. And then what's the other one? We've got a two, which is the lion. Rage is in the northwest. Here. I suppose that fits. At least I hope it does. Let's see. Hey, there you go. What's that? Is that? That could be another key. It is. It's the life key. Brilliant. Hey. All right. That didn't sound good. Have we still got some things in the terrariums, or...? <laughs> right. I think it's maybe time to get our stuff back. There you go. Let's move that around. Um, yeah. Good stuff. So let's see. Let's continue exploring, shall we? Alright. What's up with this? Locked to some mechanism. This would be the mechanism, right? And it's not the key? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, nope. It's a round indent. Right, yeah, that is on the map. Uh, this one is going to need the the blood key, I suppose, to get another one of these. What about that door back there, though? Let's see. So, yeah, that's the blood gem. And that's the attic up there. We'll check the attic out in a sec. Right now, in fact. Here we go. Okay. Uh... This isn't going to go well, is it? Can I... Oh yeah, I can. Just sort of sidle around. There you go. Man, oh man, oh man. It's dark up here. A shovel? Do I need a shovel? No, nope. don't need to do any digging. What was that? No, there is something... What the fuck? What? Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Oh, boy! What the fuck indeed? Another one that got out of the terrarium? Jeez Louise. Okay, giant spiders, giant scorpions, big snakes. I mean, maybe we haven't even seen the biggest snake yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I was actually looking at this, which is a record. The seagulls cry. Maybe this is what that couple were talking about. The ones that wanted to complain. The Karen. Yeah. Is that what the attic's for? Maybe that's what the attic's for. Yeah. I'm just going to have a little nosy around. See if I can find some more ammo. Maybe some more items. Maybe some more vinyls. I don't know. That's definitely for the, uh, the meeting room puzzle, though. Don't you think? All right. I think, unless I'm mistaken, that's it. So, let's head back and hopefully we don't meet any other giant spiders. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was huge! Well, actually, what about the other side? Can I maybe sidle around to the other side? Yeah, okay. I might be doing that unnecessarily, to be honest. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, something down here? Nothing important. All right. Nope. Not seeing a thing. <laughs> ah! Oh. All right. Well, it happened. It happened. <laughs> so, I've got another key. The life key. Where does that go? Okay, so there's... Oh, that door. That connecting door to room 309 and 308. That's there. Right. I can go back there. That's actually going to be the one that opens VIP room 208. 
where they're staying. Right, okay, there might be another vinyl in there. All right, this is all very exciting. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because I've been recording for a, a long, long while, and I, I don't think I've got another 19 hours left in me right now. This is where I'm going to save the game and end part one of Eternal Evil. Thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it, and please, if you do want to see more of this, let me know about it down below in the comments or by liking the video. See you next time. They might be ghouls, but they do look a lot like zombies, don't they? And off I go. And they leave with my rifle. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, I think you're going to regret giving that away. <laughs> Hold on. After being bitten by a vampire? Vampires? Oh, washroom. Definitely want to check that out, don't I? <laughs> you know me. Can I leave? Nah. <laughs> I don't need to go out now. That would probably be the smart decision, though, honestly. So, they come back to life! Oh, only to get knocked right back down. I'm actually very impressed with this. Ooh. <laughs> we haven't got any killer dogs in here. Uh, <laughs> well, there's a lion. This looks really, really good, doesn't it? And it looks even better when you see some ammo. Wow, that looks well equipped. Can I open that again? Where's all that stuff? <laughs> okay. Oh, yes! Oh shit. Wait, it's not working. Oh, no, it, it definitely is working. You look a lot like Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 3, and you were probably going to get up again, weren't you? You sneaky bitch. I don't want to mess around with those guys. Right, you? Over the edge. <laughs> That's what happens to you. Is there something down there? Oh, there is. Oh god. Wait, what's that? I don't know what that is, but I want it. They are vampires. <laughs> oh! A damn huge snake! It chased me. I managed to get into my room and close the door. I constantly hear someone's footsteps behind the door. Probably not the snakes. In here, though? Oh! Fucking hell, dude! <laughs> oh, hidden stash of cash! Yeah, I gotta say, the, the slow ones don't really pose much of a threat. Whether they're wearing clothes or not. Whoa! Okay! It's like she fucking heard me! Whoa! <laughs> I love the way they twist around. Oh, and I love the way their heads explode. Bloody hell. Alright, there's gonna be a lot of reading in this. Maybe that's why it's 15 to 20 hours long. I've recorded it. I don't really know why. But I did it. Let's do this on the stairs, shall we? Not exactly what I had in mind, but alright, that works. Instead of music, we heard the cries of a bird. Interesting. Where's that record? <laughs> okay, I am going to finish this guy off with the knife, because I actually feel kind of bad now. I mean, everyone else got stabbed and you didn't. That's not fair. I suppose that fits. At least I hope it does. Let's see. Hey, there you go. Now, there is something... What the fuck? What? Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? 